Not a ton of new announcements this week. We did promote a new viewer a uh, day or two back, so we're going through the usual round of merges. Um, so in terms of active RCs, we've got, I think, uh, two two mates still going, and um, uh, also the the uh, legacy profiles viewer is an RC. So any of those could be next, although I think we may have a kind of a hot fix thing going out before any of those, um, but uh, watch watch the space for details. Uh, let's see, other things. Oh, I had a question for the uh, Firestorm folks. Um, what's, what's the state of the current default viewer? Does that include performance improvements or is that still pending? If we have any Firestorm folks here. Yeah, all right. Well, I will not require anyone else to answer that. Uh, okay, uh, one other topic. We had uh, a little bit of changes in how we're planning to manage our repos and builds going forward. And uh, I think Signal is here to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks, Pierre. Um so we have some internal initiatives to improve how we do continuous integration and deployment that have been underway for some time now. But I think the most important thing um, that I have to announce uh, that will affect outside contributors is that we're looking at moving Second Life development uh, from Bitbucket to GitHub. Um, there's a lot of reasons to do that. Um, and uh, you know, we'll be able to in the future do things like you know look at simplifying our uh, contributor license agreement process or have some more automation around pull requests and things like that. But generally, I think you know the interface is better to use on you know kind of like a superficial level, and there's a lot of features to take advantage of. Um, so I'm hoping that is positive news. Um, it's gonna look like a change made in two phases. Um, and you know, this is the, these plans are still a work in progress, and um, we're expecting to spend you know a few months figuring out, uh, getting things in place, and then giving you folks more news about you know an exact timeline where we'd make this switch. And that switch would be you know of course the viewer code base as well as the other public code bases that are in Bitbucket, Auto Build, LLCA, all the weird things that we have you know reference on the wiki and elsewhere, and that are currently under our Bitbucket repository. Um, that's that's like the short story. Um, if there's anything you wanted me to cover aside from that here, but that's kind of uh, the announcement, and I think we'll be probably talking about it more in these meetings going forward. So we'll get closer to uh, switching things over. Uh, yeah, I think that covers the gist of it as far as I know. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't sound like people have any concerns about it? Are, are most other folks already using GitHub for their uh, for their development? I've seen um, some viewers on GitLab, some on Bitbucket, some on GitHub. Okay, good. Well, I hope it will make uh, life more complicated for anybody, but uh, we will uh, keep you posted on our progress with that. Um, as I think Signal said, it'll be kind of a two-pass thing, where first we're going to be just migrating repos and then kind of migrating infrastructure to take advantage of the repos. Um, they're take advantage of GitHub Actions. So yeah. there'll be uh, kind of a couple of discrete time points, but uh, in terms of you know your your ability to uh, you know access our stuff externally, it's it's probably going to look more like just one step where the repos get migrated. Yeah, that's about it. Just switching that URL once that change is made. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thanks, Signal. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, we've got the uh, uh, continued uh, interesting progress with P 
PBR and materials. Um, if anybody wants to hear more about that, I see we have Dave P. He could uh, give you a little bit of a rundown. Sure. Um, the hold up right now is seems to be mostly back end plumbing, um, which is just about sorted out. Um, go figure. When you add a new asset type, there's a few dozen different places you need to mention that asset type. Um, what's probably more interesting to the third party viewer devs is uh, what was announced in the uh, content creators user group, uh, which is that we're uh, deprecating support for forward rendering, which might be particularly disconcerting to the Genesis viewer. Um, the UI for that has been disabled in the uh, and removed in the materials viewer. Um, so the the pipelines once the materials viewer ship will probably just be the deferred renderer without PBR and the deferred renderer with PBR. There won't be a way to do non-deferred rendering. Um, not planning on removing any code until uh, it's known that that will work on all the platforms and hardware that we care about. Um, so it's not a done deal yet, but that's the, the direction we'd like to go. Does anybody have any concerns or comments on that? Yeah, I mean, 123 was the best viewer ever, um, but we got to move forward and uh, there's not a not a lot of ways that you can keep that tail around indefinitely. Best viewer of the 2000s decade, I don't know. Oh, I'm saying that um, for uh, the ability to turn, specifically the, the ability to uh, turn off um, advanced lighting model uh, is going to go away. So, and graphics preferences, the checkboxes for disabling atmospherics and advanced lighting model are, are going away. Um, and we'll be using deferred rendering on all hardware. There are a few changes that need to get made in order to make that run um, at the same frame rates as forward rendering. So those will be coming in. Uh, namely, uh, instead of the, the local lights being a checkbox, it'll be a slider. It doesn't make our product defunct, though, does it? It just means we've got to change it. Um, well, I assume for the 123 style of viewer, I could be wrong about how you're doing it. Um, deferred render isn't in there, but if it is, then no sweat. But yeah, uh, a lot of the uh, graphics preferences get pruned when you make that change. Um, so now in the, the shader section, there's just like avatar cloth checkbox goes away. Uh, the uh, terrain detail slider goes away because that's, and, and the gamma slider goes away. Those, those have been dead for a bit. Um, and you just have like the ability to turn transparent water on and off, local lights on and off, ambient occlusion, depth of field, and shadow detail. One concern we've heard from 
from some folks in in uh, I don't remember if it's been in these meetings or in the content creators, but has been about the uh, you know kind of potential memory impact that if you're doing um, if you're doing all kind of material kind of new style materials and there's no um, there's no non deferred path, then you get more uh, you get more texture downloads and you don't have control over that. Um, so that that is uh, something we're aware of, and at at some point we are planning to take a look at uh, possibly doing some kind of a setting that allows people to do a kind of a you know a low bandwidth option, uh, which could could control you know number or complexity of of textures as they get pulled down. But we don't have any concrete spec for exactly what that's going to amount to at this point. Yep. I, ideally, we'd get to a place where um, there's no reason to disable PBR, but right now there's a a, a hardware feature that isn't supported everywhere um, that it relies on. But if we can get rid of that dependency for a fallback, then there's not much reason to disable PBR either. Yeah, so instead of turning off one checkbox, it'll be move the slider to mid. Um, or mid-low. You frightened me when you said that, because I thought you were saying that our viewer wouldn't work, but it, it does all that already. It's just, it okay, just means cool. some of the tick boxes won't work, or we'll have to remove them from the... Uh, the... Yeah, and that's... Like I definitely want to not uh, make it so anybody's viewer doesn't work. Um, mostly just saying, trying to say it's a relatively big change that might remove a lot of render code in the future, but not yet. But when it does remove the forward render pipe, that's going to be a lot of that's going to be a very big change um, that might not merge well. So the initial change that we have coming with the uh, the materials viewer is just that the uh, the option to to turn uh, turn ALM off goes away, not that the actual code is getting yanked. Right. Um, uh -huh. I, I don't think it would be prudent to remove all the code until it's had a chance to soak in production, because uh, there's always the chance that there's something we didn't anticipate and we need to keep forward rendering around. Yeah. Right, and that might be one of those things where it it becomes in everybody's best interest to just leave the code in, even though it's deprecated and unsupported in the official viewer, uh, which is a discussion we should probably have. Yeah, I mean, if... Uh... If PBR is part of the kind of standard feature set that we, you know, expect to be able to work with, then, you know, kind of leaving in code paths that, that exclude it could become a problem at some point, too. So we'd need to, uh, you know, kind of, kind of have a discussion about that going forward. Uh, to answer Jenna's question, uh, alpha blended faces are rendered via forward rendering when deferred rendering is enabled, but it's a, a different set of shaders and uh, slightly different techniques uh, when when the pipe is in deferred render mode. Um, so 
uh, essentially if we add PBR and you have the ability to turn PBR on and off, it multiplies the uh, the compatibility testing tail, um, and it, which isn't just a factor for uh, London Lab and third-party viewer devs, it's a factor for everybody who's making content because they have to test their content against all those different settings and it just becomes impossible to really guarantee that the content is going to look correct uh, for pipes all the way back to forward rendering with atmospherics disabled. Um, I don't think it's good to make promises you can't keep. So we can reasonably promise that uh, content will, will look correct with uh, PBR on or off and with deferred rendering on. And, I, and I'm fairly certain we can uh, make sure that, that content runs um, as well or almost as well as it does with forward rendering. Uh, basically there, there won't be any, um, there won't be any visual change, uh, co compared to having ALM on. Um, you just won't have the ability to turn it off anymore. So alpha objects will look the same as they do today with ALM on. Alpha handling for PBR is something that we uh, haven't started on yet, though. So exactly what that's going to look like is uh, still a little bit, uh, a little bit TBD. Coffee, do you have a, a laptop that physically won't support uh, non won't won't support deferred rendering? I must be going back a bit. Yeah, I couldn't find any in my collection that still turn on. Maybe a collector's item. I don't know.
All right, well, I guess that probably about covers our topics for today. Uh, Ryder, do you want to say anything about what's going on on the uh, server side of things? Well, let's see. Um, we've got a uh, we've got the uh, uh, VIP regions coming out next week. We've got uh, uh, the uh, the extended uh, environment stuff coming out. Uh, hopefully, the week after there were some bugs found, which is always reassuring that they're found before it goes out. Um, and I think that's the big. Uh, the, those are the those are the big ones in the next two weeks. And it has the fix for for uh, discovering the uh, uh, from the script discovering the uh, subscription level. Could I just say, uh, coffee, try our viewer. It's a legacy viewer, but it has all of the very, very latest stuff in it. And if you've got a problem running a heavier viewer, try ours. It is perfect for laptops. All right, well, we're open for general topics if anybody has them. Otherwise, we can run off and have a weekend or whatever. Thank you very much for having us. See you next time. All right. Bye, everybody.
Yeah, uh... Kitty, uh... I'm kind of... confused as to what third-party viewers would even have to think about with Premium Plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, we definitely don't want uh, Premium Plus to become like, oh, I'll upload all your stuff for you, um, services. Uh, I, I hope that kind of thing is in the terms of service, but I can't say for sure. Yes, there's an SL Discord. Um, I can never remember how to get the link. Yeah, and, and I don't have invite permission on the SL server, <laughs> so I can never remember what the process is for getting people in there. I gotta go dig through some uh, some performance reports uh, on the frame rate, um, but I will catch you guys later. Thanks for coming.